us. The fellowship is in touch. And so God came and said, Adam, where art thou? Adam, where are you? And he said, I heard your voice in the garden. That's right. This is not the first time of hearing his voice in the garden. And then I became afraid. Why? Disobedience brings fear. When you don't pay your dues, it brings fear. When God has said, this is what she do. And then you deliberately, with your eyes open, with your brain in touch, with your mind clear, deliberately you go against, you go contrary to the word of the Lord. There is fear when you lessen your love for God. Love, affection brings obedience. When you lessen that love, then you go your own way. That brings fear. I heard your voice in the garden and I became afraid. And then because also I know I'm naked. How do you know you are naked? Then the story goes on and then eventually the whole scene came out. There were excuses made. But the excuses did not excuse them from obedience to the word and the will of God. And eventually then judgment came. Don't you know? There is the law of sowing and reaping. Don't you know? There is the law of cause and effect. Don't you know that there is the law of event and consequence? They all mean the same thing. You sow, you reap. The cause, the effect. The event and then the consequence. And so, they were then denied from continuing in the garden. That's why it says, so he, the almighty God, drove out the man. Now when it says he drove out the man, is that only driving out Adam? As you look at Genesis chapter 5, Verse 2, Genesis chapter 5, verse 2. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name. Both of them, Mr. and Mrs. the man. He called their name. Adam, in the day when they were created. So when it says, he drove out the man. He called their name, both of them together, Mr. and Mrs. Adam. And he drove out the man. And he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden, cherubims. And a flaming sword. A fiery sword. We turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. The fire and the sword. The flame and the sword. The symbolic picture. Jeremiah chapter 20. The flame, the fire. Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 9. Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name, but his word was in my heart as a burning fire. That's the 
saying that the, the flame, the fire represents his word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bowls and I was weary with forbearing and I could not stay. When the fire begins to burn, the water in the kettle begins to boil. And then the burning in the heart. And he said, then I could not stay. I went into action. In Psalm 39. Psalm 39, verses 3 and 4. My heart was hot within me while I was musing, meditating, cogitating, while I was thinking, thinking of the word, the fire burned, then speak I with my tongue. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. But you will meditate therein, day and night. You will think, meditate, cogitate on the word. Muse, musing, as I was musing on the word. Turning it over and over in my heart, the fire but then I speak with my tongue in verse 4. Lord, make me to know mine end and the measure of my days. Watch it is that I may know how frail I am. Luke chapter 24. The fire. Representing or symbolizing the word. Luke chapter 24 verse 32. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way? And while he opened to us, the scriptures, that's the flame. That's the fire. Our hearts burned within us. We were hot within us. There was a stirring. It's like the flaming sword was being applied to our hearts when it spoke to us by the way. And when he opened unto us, and he explained unto us, and he expounded unto us, and he applied with us the word of God, the scriptures. The flame symbolizes the word. The fire symbolizes the word. I bowed the sword. The sword. You will realize from the very beginning. The sword. As the sword appears in chapter 3 of Genesis. For the very first time. It was to be a different. You have been blessed with this powerful message. Our, bottom, our address is at the bottom of the, uh, of the screen. I believe you will join us. One of this Sunday to worship together. Thank you. God bless you. Let us pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name and thank you, Lord, because of this powerful message. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will touch those people who are in need of salvation, those people who are in need of prosperity, those people who are in need of healing. And the power, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, they will give testimony because of this message. In Jesus' name we pray. Say it one more time, say, oh, 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 Lord.